in Las Vegas. Lazaro Hernandez was a flashy Jet Society poker player who was shown with stacks of colored chips in televised tournaments. But the ordinary dressed gambler, seen in the casino cafe with Tomar money on security cameras, was hiding a secret life. Federal investigators say he gambles with people's lives. They say Hernandez is managing a nationwide $230 million plan to counteract prescription drugs especially life-saving HIV drugs. Pill bottles are exchanged in this program and sold back to pharmacies at a large discount. According to court records, Hernandez's operation changed bottles of Bictarvi, the number one prescription drug for HIV, as well as Descavi, another HIV drug, and other drugs. Records show that in some cases, the pills in the bottles were replaced with Seroquel, an antipsychotic drug. Officials say Hernandez, who lives in southern Florida, gambles with revenues from the forgery operation, travels to Las Vegas on private jets, and participates in numerous poker tournaments. The drug counterfeiting plan was part of a $431 billion counterfeit drug sale worldwide. According to estimates by the World Health Organization, According to Institute for Pharmaceutical Safety, which follows industry trends, there have been 2022 cases of in the United States, with a 17 increase over previous year in 2121. This is major concern for Gilead Sciences, which makes it a priority to find and combat prescription drug diversion and counterfeiting in broader sense. In July 2021, the company filed a lawsuit against 161 defendants, including pharmacies and wholesale drug distributors, accusing them of participating in the company's plan to change Bictarvi and Descovy drugs. In April 2022, Johnson Johnson filed a similar lawsuit against 27 defendants over the HIV drug Simtuza. According to industry experts and law enforcement officials, other life-saving drugs have been counterfeited over the past few years, including cancer drugs. The cases are ongoing. Lori Mayall, head of Gilead's anti-counterfeiting and product safety, said, These criminals are hunting the most vulnerable. What does fake medicine do? Lori Mayall, head of product safety and counterfeiting at Gilead Sciences, in an interview at Gilead's headquarters in Foster City, California. Mayall explained what was fake modified packaging, a bottle with the wrong tablets, and attached leaflet with wrong cover or label and even important information about the drug. The drug diversion works like this a patient fills out a prescription for a drug that is worth several thousand dollars but is paid by Medicare, Medicaid or insurance. The patient then sells it for cash at a fraction of the list price. The buyer, known as collector, extracts patient information, changes bottle and sells it to wholesaler distributor, who then sells it back to pharmacy. According to Gilead, Bictarvi's package list price is $3,795. But most patients' additional payments are often much less.